So this is me. I play controller on every single game, and I mean every single game. But that changes today. I've decided to start over and learn mouse and keyboard. I'm going to record this journey to see how long it takes me to become good again, but also to help out new mouse and keyboard players. So let's get into day one. Day one, I try to start off doing 90s, only using the floor and the ramp. But as you can see, they were absolutely terrible. But by the end of the day, they look kind of like this. And if you're wondering what binds I went with, I just picked Colds. Colds, the current FNCS champion. And yeah, I just looked up his binds and sense and copied exactly what he had. After doing 90s, I got off and went to sleep, only to wake up in the morning to grind for day two. Start of day two, I warmed up doing simple edits. For those of you who are wondering, I am confirming I'm not playing edit on release. So that means I have to press my edit key twice. I'm still getting used to that, but it's only day two. To finish off my warm up for day two, I did some 90s, but this time I added the floor, which means I'm now pressing three binds instead of just two. So we are making some improvement. I then went and played a couple of pub matches, but unfortunately the recording got corrupted. So on to day three. To start off day 3, I try to box up these bots, just to get experience using my cone bind, because up until now I haven't used it at all. Well I have, just not intentionally. So I did this for 10-15 to 15 minutes, and then I worked on single edits until I was comfortable doing them consistently. Then I went on to shoot the bots with my AR because I found out yesterday in those club matches that I cannot aim. And that sums up day three. Let me know what I can do to improve my aim. On to day four. Day four I started off with box fights until I found out that I don't enjoy box fights at all. So, yeah, it was interesting. Um, I really struggled, but here's some highlights. The main thing I struggled with in the box fights was having the right gun out. So I'm considering changing my binds, like my shotgun to scroll well up. Let me know what you think. After box fights, I had a break, but then when I got back on, I worked on my double edits. Until eventually, I got two in a row. And then, I hopped off. Time for day five. Day five is all about triple editing. I started off with these simple triple edits to get the timing down. The hardest part about this is learning 
the rhythm and speed at which I have to press my edit key. But we're getting there. And then I went into build and practiced them myself until I could do them quite comfortably. So we've made a lot of improvement. Let me know if you play edit on release or edit on release off in the comments. I'd like to know, and I'd like to know which I should stick with. I'm enjoying confirming my edits at the moment, but edit on release seems so much easier. On to day six. On day six, my main goal was piece control and edit courses. I started off with simple piece control like Mongo Classic and worked my way up to doing this. As you can see, I'm doing tunnel edits with a couple pieces. And I was trying really, really hard to have really good crosshair placement so that I could get these edits off quickly and effectively. And that's what I did for day six. Uh, it's day um, seven. Last day of the week. Read the rant. Oh. Uh, we need a warm up. So, as you can see, this is my level on day seven. We made enormous amounts of improvement. Man, look how far we came in just one week. If I can do it, you can too. KBM players, leave some advice, not only for me, but all the new KBM players down below. Also, should I stick to mouse and keyboard or go back to controller? Oh, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to set the like goal for five. So hopefully we get five likes and have a good one. Peace. Wow, stop this.